All right, so here's another invasive species. This is a tree version of my invasive species series. This is called the staghorn sumac. There's a several species of sumacs. The staghorn is the one of the few that I know you can actually harvest the berries. And that's one of the reasons why I'm actually leaving this tree grow. As you can see here, kind of looks like a palm tree. And I'm leaving it go because I'm going to harvest the berries this fall or spring whenever the berries are ready. Uh, seed pods, actually. It's like a big bud, seed bud. And I'm going to make uh, what they call hillbilly lemonade which is basically taking those buds and just heating them up in water and getting the juice out of them without, you know, all the other toxins. You can heat them up and they release like a very a mild, almost like a, a lemonade type flavor. It almost tastes a little bit like, um, what is that called? Uh, Kool-Aid or fruit punch a little bit. Almost tastes a little like that, but tangier. And... It has a very, very slight sweet taste. So there is some kind of fructose in there, some kind of sh sugars that it produces. But this is another invasive species. You will see that once you start with these things, you can't get rid of them, unfortunately. Like I'm letting a few of these grow around my property. That's probably a big mistake. I should probably cut all of these down. And But even if you cut them down, they come right back up. You can see there's one here. Look at that. That's a staghorn. That's staghorn sumac. Couple growing back there. There's one growing there. They grow all around. It's not an ugly plant, and you, but some people actually have a allergy to it. They can get sumac poisoning, and it's very similar to uh, poison ivy. And when you get it, you swell up from it. You immediately show an allergic reaction. Most people aren't generally allergic to this plant, but some people are. And they're allergic to the point where even if they rub up against this tree, they will get severely sick or severely swollen from it. And if they inhale a pollen, they can, it can cause them to stop breathing. So, yeah, I'll just give you a close look at what it looks like. Like I say, there's several versions of this sumac that grow. And this only one that I know that grows around here is the staghorn. I don't really know of the other ones that grow around here, but there are other versions of it. And uh, they do different things. They make different kinds of buds and pods. That's how you can tell the difference between this sumac and some of the other ones. This one makes the red buds or berries, and the other ones make like different buds and berries, different shapes and stuff. And But from my research that I looked up about this particular sumac because I want to make sure I can drink in the right one. I'm not going to drink one that's going to kill me. Um, I found out that this was the staghorn. So, all right. So that's just a quick look at the staghorn. If you see it, um, I would recommend you go through the trouble of removing it unless you're, you're really trying to let your property naturalize and find its own way. But this can really crowd out a lot of the better trees like your maples and, and oaks. So you kind of want to get these out of the way. It's no, so it's sort of a nuisance type of a tree. But, I mean, you could use the wood. The wood is generally pretty light. It grows pretty straight for the most part if you let it grow in the middle of the yard. And you could use that wood for stuff. But I would rip it down, personally. I'm only letting them grow here because I want to do a small series on the buds and how to make the, the lemonade from it and stuff like that. How I know how to do it anyway. And um, just kind of include that with my invasive species series so you know what to look for if you see them. And you know, now you know it's an invasive species. Some, some places, some communities uh, will actually go out of their way and make you remove those trees. And if you don't remove those trees, those invasive trees, they will come and remove them without your consent. They'll just come on your property and remove those trees and then they bill you for the removal fee. And a fine. They give you a fine as well. So, yeah, they, there are some townships that will do that. Uh, where I live, they don't care what you do, actually. But some places will actually do that. So just keep that in mind. Check your local codes and make sure you're not going to get in trouble for letting it grow on your property. All right? That's the Staghorn Sumac. I'll see you on the next one.